In this video we are making a spam the key mini game, it will show a UI with a random letter to press quickly. To start, right click and add a blueprint actor. Click on actor component. Call this AC underscore spam. This is a component we can add to multiple actors that needs the mini game. Add a variable, it is the float type and it is called amount pressed. We need another float variable called needed amount, you can change this value depending on difficulty. We need another variable called key pressed and it is the type key. This checks what we key you need to press. We need a event dispatcher called completed, these are events we can assign in another actor to do a certain task like closing the door or fixing a machine. We need an input here, a boolean called success. We want to make sure we won or failed the mini game to do a certain task. Compile and go to the content browser. Right click and select a widget. Press OK and name it W underscore spam bar. Open it and search for a canvas panel. Drag and drop it onto the graph. Now search for a progress bar and add it to the canvas. Go to the anchors and click on the middle one. Set the position to zero. Scale it up. To make the bar centered, make the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5. In UE5, they added rounded images. You can click on style, click on background image and in the draw a section click rounded box. You can do this for fill image too. You can change the fill color too and make custom bars too. Always remember to rename the important widgets, change this progress bar to spam bar. Search for your text afterwards. Drag it to the canvas and put it above the bar. Like before, center the anchor and set position to zero and put the alignment to 0.5. Change the text to spam X, it is temporary text, we change it in code later. Again, rename the text to spam text and tick the is variable box. Compile and go to your actor component. We are going to make another variable. Call this widget reference. The variable type is the spam widget you created. Right click and add a custom event. Call this event press key. We also need another event called release key. Add another event called destroy for when we complete or fail the mini game. Another event called on failed. Now go to your event begin play. We have to create widget and set up some values here. First get your needed amount variable. Drag from it and search for random float in range. I used 10 to 15 as the amount and randomizing it helps make it interesting. Next search for create widget node. In this drop down, select the spam widget that you created. Next set your widget reference after and connect it to the widget's return value. Get your widget variable and search add to viewport. I did a bit of reordering here and put the create widget first and set up variables after to keep it organized. Now drag and set your key pressed variable. You could select this key but I am also going to make this random too. From key, drag and search for select. Here you can add multiple keys. And press add pin for more. The index is how we choose which key and I am just using a random integer. Max will be 3 as I have 4 keys but it always starts with number 0. Now get your widget variable as we want to update text and progress bar. Get the spam text and search for a set text. This is simply your key variable and you can search for get key display name. Search for a format text. This allows us to organize our text. Write spam. Then use curly brackets and write key. Curly brackets adds an input which you can link with the display name. We need our widget reference again, this time get the spam progress bar. Search for set percent. To calculate our progress bar, it would be our amount pressed and our needed amount. I searched for the divide node and divided both values. Connect to the set percent. Move on to our events. First, when we press the key. 
Drag out your amount pressed and we can drag and search for the add node. Put a value of 1. This is our counter and we need to clamp this value between 0 and our max being the needed amount. Now drag and set your amount pressed. We need to update our progress bar to sync with our button mashing. Get the widget reference and search our your spam progress bar. Drag and search for our set percent. We do the same as before where we get the amount pressed and we divide that by our needed amount. Now we did this code before and we may need it again in the future. If you find yourself doing the same code, you can click and drag to select all the nodes and right click the set percent node. You get a box where you can select to collapse the functions. This will automatically make it a function. I renamed it to update progress bar. Find those similar codes and you can replace those. Click and drag to select these nodes to delete them. Replace with the function you created. Back in our key pressed event, we want to check if we pressed enough times. To do that, drag and get your amount pressed. Search for an equals node and connect amounts pressed and also the needed amount. Add a branch with this condition. Now this is where use are on completed event dispatcher which tells the owning actor to open a door or give you points. Drag your on completed and select the call button. Tick success to true since we win here. Now drag and call our destroy event to stop using this spam component. Moving on to our next event when we release the key. Drag and search for a retriggerable delay. This delay is special because if the event gets called again it resets the delay. I want it to have a delay of 0.8 seconds. If you let go of spamming for 0.8 seconds, you fail the mini game. Next search for on failed event. This event is done now. Now on failed event. When you fail, drag and set amount pressed to 0. Drag out and call update progress bar function. Then drag your on complete event and the success is false. Finally call the destroy event to stop mini game. The final event that we made was destroy that manages removing widget and destroying component. Get your widget reference onto the graph. Right click and you want to make sure it is converted to a validated get. This is a safety check to make sure the widget exists. Drag from the reference and search for remove from parent. After that, search for destroy component. Also connected to the is not valid. We want to always destroy this component even if the widget does or does not exist. Now Unreal has a node called any key which is useful for systems like this. Drag from key and search for an equals node. All we have to do is check our key variable so get it and hook it up to this equals node. Next, add a branch node. On true, we call the press key node. We need to also add released key event on the release, you can also connect it to false if you want to. Now as an optional, we need to fail the player if they haven't completed it in a few seconds. Go to the end of the event begin play. Search for a delay and I added 4 seconds. Enough time for them to complete this mini game. Search for self and add an is valid code. I don't know why I added this but generally it is always good to do an is valid check on variables. Add a branch. Get your amount pressed variable and check if it is less than or equals to zero. On true, we can call the on failed event. Code in here is done. Go to whatever blueprint actor you want to add this actor component. I am going to put it in the player character. You would add the actor as soon as you want the mini game to start. Since I don't have any other code, I am going to put it when I start the game. Search and add an event begin play. Optionally I added a delay before the mini game starts. Search for your actor component and it should just be this one. We have added but we still have to make the completed dispatcher. Drag from return value and search for assign completed. Rename this event to on completed. This is how you continue the code if they win or lose.
I made it an event dispatcher so you can make it different for every spam minigame and events. My event is simple, all it's going to do is play a sound and print a string. First, search for play sound, 2D and location are both ok. Now we need a select node which allows us to choose different outputs depending on a condition like a branch but we don't have to repeat code. You want to connect this index to the bool return and it will automatically convert. The event input is our condition to check if we win or lose. Choose the right sound effects for true and the false. Next I will add a print string. I will do the same where I get a select, you will plug the index to the condition. Enter in the text you want printed out if you win or lose. I don't know why I used a begin play, I removed that and the delay, instead I used a key input for easier testing. I connected press to the add actor spam component. Now compile and test to see if it all works. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.